Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to some of you who had a nice vacation last week and uh, better to get back to the grindstone. And I'm uh, glad to have you with us this morning. If you want to follow along, uh, we will be starting in the 21st verse of the 5th chapter of Acts. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and began to teach. Now when the high priest came and those who were with them, they called together the council and all the senate of the people of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came, they did not find them in the prison, so they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these words, they were greatly perplexed about them, wondering what this would come to. And someone came and told them, Look, the men who you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Uh, an amazing story, as now we see uh, their attempt at uh, persecution uh, had um, kind of failed. They gather uh, in their court uh, to begin to try the disciples uh, for their uh, supposed crimes. Um, they just have one problem. They don't have anybody to try. Uh, as they look around, the, the disciples are gone, and they are uh, confused uh, at, uh, at the events. And so uh, they, are, uh, they are wondering, uh, how, how, how did the disciples get delivered uh, out of our hand? How did they uh, get away? Uh, how did they get, uh, get gone? Uh, and uh, so they, uh, they do a little search, and they can't find them. All they can find is that the prison doors uh, are still locked. The guards are still in their position. It doesn't seem like there's, <laughs> we don't see any tunnels dug. Uh, you know, the guards have done their job. The gates have done their job. But for some reason, uh, we don't have any prisoners. And about that time, somebody uh, says, hey, look, there they are. Uh, we know where they are. They are uh, in the temple. Uh, they are beginning uh, to preach uh, and teach again. And uh, just uh, again, no, nobody, they, they haven't, you know, several amazing things are out of the prison, but second of all, they didn't ruin. Uh, they went right back to preaching. They went right to standing in the temple. Uh, they are uh, doing what got them in trouble to begin with. Uh, and they are continuing uh, to preach and to teach uh, the people. They're preaching the resurrection of Christ. They're preaching repentance um, and, uh, and continuing uh, to preach that message. Uh, great, great lessons in this passage. Uh, the, uh, the faithfulness of God to his people uh, could be talked about, uh, how God didn't abandon uh, his servants uh, when they were uh, when they were being persecuted, when they were arrested and imprisoned. Uh, but uh, I think more important the lesson is that they didn't abandon God. Uh, when uh, they had the opportunity to flee, uh, when they had the opportunity to, uh, to, to, to run, to get out of town, um, they went right back to preaching uh, the good news of Jesus Christ. Great, great lesson for us today um, that uh, I, I think as we continue in our world, continue in our culture, as time goes on, uh, if Jesus tarries, uh, we're going to need to learn the lesson of this passage. We're going to have to be willing and have the courage to stand uh, and preach and teach and tell the good news of Jesus Christ in spite uh, of what the world thinks of it, in spite of the persecution, in spite of uh, objection uh, from uh, from the world, from the government, uh, from our neighbors, from even our family, uh, that we have the courage uh, to continue preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. Let me encourage you to begin to make that part of your prayer life. God, um, give me courage. God, uh, begin to build in me that courage, that strength, so when I need it, I'll be able to stand true, stand strong, and continue uh, to proclaim the good news of the gospel. Have a great day. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.